You know, I think I think I'm disappointed because I think I understand the activist acting in terms of not wanting to see wanting to see bison being allowed to roam the landscape and to migrate as they have historically. I think it's a it's an incredible aspiration, and I think I would love to see bison treated more like wildlife and roam that landscape. But I think I said, you know, managing bison in modern society is not the same as managing bison as it was, um, you know, 200 years ago. And so, so what can and should we be doing? The actions they took uh, when they released, especially the 50, the first release of bison, the 52 bison that have been held, some since uh, March of 16, others since uh, March of 17. Basically, what that did is that meant that those 52 bison which probably could have been transferred within, I'm going to say, a few short months to another facility, to a reservation, uh, the Fort Peck Reservation with, their, with the Cinnaboyne and, and Sioux tribes, who have a high level of respect and, and culturally significant bison, they would have started the process to not only repopulate their lands, but after going through the process, potentially repopulating other tribal lands throughout the West. What that did, all that that did, was delayed that probably instead of within the next four to six months, it's now going to be the next, it won't happen for two years. And if those kind of actions happen again, it just continues to delay getting bison out on a broader landscape. And if people who are doing this, if their goal is to see bison treated like wildlife, if their goal is to get bison on a broader landscape, they just set it back another two years. Um, the argument is, is we're domesticating those wildlife or those bison. Um, I, would, I would challenge them to go to those reservations, to go to those tribal lands and those public lands and look at where they would have to live and to roam and to, to, be, uh, to be once again a native population of bison subject, subjected to all the, the, the stressors they have for, for a millennium. And, and tell me how we've domesticated those bison. I think it's a, it's a giant, it's an unfortunately a step backwards. It's one we'll overcome, but I don't think there was any service to bison or to any other thing that was served by their actions.